みなさん、こんにちは。私は、ワンカイ、IPMU の研究員です。So, I'm going to talk about supersymmetry today, but I'm going to start the story with spin. This is the step model of particle physics, and、uh, we have matter particles, quarks, and leptons. They are spin half particle, and、uh, the particles, the immediate force, we call it gauge boson, they are spin one. And、uh, to explain the mass of all these particles, we need something like a spin zero particle. Because for spin one half, you, what you have to do is this is the moving direction of a particle, and this is the spin of the,、uh, the spin one half particle. What you, to get the mass, you have to flip the spin. For the spin one particle, They have three components, plus one, zero, and the minus one. And the spin zero component basically corresponds to, uh, uh, to the mass of its particle. But the spin zero particle gives a mass to, the part to all these particles, but the spin zero particle mass has a problem in quantum corrections. So it has,、uh, it's not stable. So what we have to do is we introduce supersymmetry to stabilize its Higgs mass. And,、uh, Supersymmetry, what it says is for all the particles in that model, they will have its superpartners. For instance, the matter particles, which are spin one half, they will have spin zero superpartners. They have, we call it quarks, leptons. And all these spin、uh, one particles, they will have spin one half、uh, superpartners. You have、uh, gaginos and hexinos. And、uh, the neutral Uh, spin one half particles, they can be dark matter in the theory. So, another prediction of supersymmetry is the gauge unification. And、uh, this is gauge coupling, and、uh, that's something like electric charge. And、uh, with supersymmetry,、uh, they can unify at one point at a very high energy. And、uh, without supersymmetry, they don't meet. So, this is, might be a hint to what we call grand unification. ありがとうございます。